he was a top guy and like I say I don't lie about nothing I told like I told him I say I'm gonna get these belts and I'm gonna come and take yours fighters that makes the fight that want the fight you go get the fight that's right now I know where you're gonna go with this all right all right all right I just wanted y'all to hear I don't know where you're going with it no 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 but it's a nothing. new day. It's definitely it's a, a new, new day. day. <laughs> it's definitely a new day, but I just wanted y'all to hear that on camera. So y'all know it ain't Terrence Crawford that's been staling the fights, all the fights that y'all been wanting to see. I just wanted y'all to know that live and direct. Look at the big fish, man. Look at the big fish. He looking like he in shape. Right, that's good. But the big fish out here smoking, doing all this other stuff, you know. He says, I'ma smoke him. Then head to 154. Got a lot more. Need to put in this red low. Dropping bars and everything, right? So Spence about to get the cigarello and smoke a lot of them dudes at 154 pounds after he gets out of the ring with Terrence Bud Crawford. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Right. And hit that like button for your boy because you guys love these videos. I love doing these videos because this is my favorite topic with two of my favorite fighters. Yes. If I'm going to be talking about a person this much, like I talk about Spence, even though I got him losing, yes, he's one of my favorite fighters. Contrary to what anybody may believe. But you can't be rolling up cigarellos, Arrow. You can't be rolling up cigarellos, Arrow. You got some fighting to do, bro. You've been chilling long enough, G. You've been chilling long enough. It's time to get back to work. Put the cigarellos down for a little bit. Because you're going to gonna have a whole lot of bud July 29th. Right? But the big fish talking his shit. And I love it. I like it. Right? It's good for clicks. It's great. It's great for boxing. But there's something, right? And I didn't watch it yet, so I'm going to be watching it for the first time. But it, it says here, it's to according to Boxing, man. Go check him out on Twitter, man. He's very, very active on Twitter. Check him out. But it says here, Anthony Sims says, Errol Spence's jaw is not how it's supposed to be due to the fact that his dental work post his accident left him nothing to bite down on. Now, this is an interesting take. I'm going to play the clip in a second, right? This is pretty interesting because is this the reason why Spence mouthpiece has been coming out? He ain't really, he can't really bite down like he want to, right? But let's hear what these guys got to say first. You saw the clip. He was on, a, I think he was on the Gilly podcast. Uh, Spence, and he was talking about that moment where, where his mouthpiece dropped out of his mouth. I don't know if you saw that part, Chris, uh, Sims, but he was talking about he thought that his teeth were knocked out because he was saying his mouth wasn't healed 100%. So when he got punches, when his mouthpiece flew, he thought it was his teeth. And that's why he stopped and he looked down because he thought his teeth were on the ground. What the fuck? Hey, you know why he thought his teeth was on the ground? Because his teeth is fake. <laughs> oh, really? I'm pretty sure all his teeth got knocked down in the accident. Yeah, so he got, yeah. Because he got been using it. So think about how hard it is. You bite, you bite, you ain't got no teeth to bite down on. You got nothing to bite down, so that jaw ain't like how it's supposed to be. You got mm. shit hooked in your mouth and ears, whatever. Hey, I salute to you, dog. Cause probably like that. <laughs> Nobody like that, right? right? Like who's who else did that? Um, little the little uh, the, the, they called him the devil. Pazienza. Pazienza. Yeah. Yeah, he broke his neck and shit, man. Like. Interesting take. Errol Spence don't got no teeth, so really. You know, it, it may not be as strong as it be for a person with teeth to bite down. You know, this is probably why he's having that trouble. And he, this cannot happen for him against Terrence Bud Crawford. Right? This cannot happen in a fight with Terrence Bud Crawford, bro. I don't know, man. But yeah, like I said, bro, salute to Errol Spence, dude. Because after that accident, most people wouldn't even return, bro. Not too many people. You know, you got guys like Vinny Paz. You know, got some guys that defy the odds and try to prove the world wrong and trade. You know, Errol Spence is one of those dudes. So you really, even if you got Bud winning, like your boy Bushido do, 
gotta respect him, man. That's that's he, he's a G, bro. He got PTSD and all that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I don't I can't favor him in this fight. I think I just think Crawford's the better fighter anyway, but there's a lot of things that's going against Spence in this fight. But if he overcomes this, bro, and even though he's the bigger guy, if he overcomes that adversity, man, that's a, that's a hell of a feat to accomplish, bro. Hell of a feat to accomplish. But even if he makes it to a decision and loses a decision against Crawford, you still got to take your hat off to him, right? I know fans get caught up into the emotion of everything. And yeah, he going to kick his ass, but in 10. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, but at the end of the day, 10, 15 years from now, you're going to look back. And I'm talking about the blood fans that tend to really hate Errol Spence. You're going to look back like, man, I like Errol Spence. I used to, I didn't like this dude, but I like him now, right? So, yeah, man, Errol Spence going through a lot, man, but he can't be sitting here smoking on Rellos and doing all this stuff, right? But look, this this, this right here, I'm smoking their head. He's having a hard time making weight, y'all. Yep, that's what that means. He's having a hard time making weight. He's 30 some years old. He's been chilling for a while. This is a lot harder than he thought it was probably going to be. Errol Spence is big. Even now, he's pretty lean. He's lean as hell. And he's still big. And then, on a week of the scales, how, how is he going to look then? Right? How is he going to look then? So, yeah, Errol Spence is ready to go to 154. And he, he stated this for a reason. It's hard. But real quick, somebody on Facebook suggested that, and he said that he'll love to see a debate between me and Boxing Ego. Apparently, Boxing Ego has went full-blown anti-Terrence Crawford, right? And a lot of people feel that your boy Bushido is, you know, Team Crawford over here. This is the Bud Army over here. He said he'll love to see that debate. And your boy Bushido don't do, do no debating no more or nothing like that, right? But I would definitely, definitely, definitely debate boxing ego. I got the smoke for him. And he and he know I do. He know I got the smoke for him, right? He know I got the smoke for him. I could tear this whole debate apart. So yeah, and you guys tell Boxing Ego that Bushido Boxing challenges him to a Spence versus Crawford debate. We got to get it done before the fight, right? We got to get it done before the fight, if he wants to do it. Hey, look, I got a big following. I'll be bringing some type of value, but then at the end of the day, me and him down the same lane. So and he's pretty much at the top, right? So, I mean, what's up with the smoke, Ego? You got to put on a show for the people. And I and I, this is a this is a this isn't like a a, a challenge to where I'm trying to disrespect none. I, I respect ego because to be honest with you guys, on my original channel, which is still there, we do live streams over there. He gave me some really really good advice when I was up and coming, probably before I even had a thousand subs. He gave me some really kind inspirational words, and here I am today, right? So I got respect for ego. I may not agree with what he owned. But I'm not about to go and try to disrespect or no crazy shit like that. But I got a hella arguments, a hella ammunition for this Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence debate. So if Ego wants to put on a show for the boxing community on YouTube, up and coming Bushido boxer versus the OG boxer Ego, let's do it, right? Let's do it. But yeah, man, Terrence Crawford here, as you can see, he addresses the whole size thing. Now, this, this is one of, the, been one of the main things about this fight, the size difference. The size difference between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford is apparent. Seeing him even at the press conferences and everything else, it's, it's obvious that Errol Spence is the bigger man. But let's hear what Terrence Bud Crawford got to say. Let's hear what Terrence Bud Crawford got to say. How concerned are you about the size difference? Uh, what uh, you know? I've got one more question after this, but you know the size difference is going to be a lot of conversation about how big Errol usually is. The fact he can still make one forty-seven. You, you were undisputed in, at 140. How have you kind of managed that, prepared for what that difference might look like on fight night? I don't worry about it. Listen, when you, when you talk about size, you, you you talk about Jeff Horn. They said Jeff Horn was one of the biggest welterweights uh, other than Spence. 
When you yeah, talk about Oh, uh, look. Uh, Jeff Horn, huge welterweight. But see, nobody wants to talk about how big Jeff Horn was because Jeff Horn was a bum. But this same bum beat Manny Pacquiao, gave him hell if you thought he won a favorable decision. But he get, either way, he's bullying and manhandling Manny. Manny was getting manhandled by a middleweight. But guess what? The same middleweight got smoked by Terrence Bud Crawford. The same middleweight. Jeff Horn's a middleweight, fighting at welterweight. Some, one may say Spence. Some people I've seen in the past said Spence is really a middleweight. Spence himself said he could fight 160, 168. So, you know, this ain't going to be nothing new for Terrence Bud Crawford, right? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Size, you talk about Sean Porter. You know, me and Sean Porter was in the amateurs together. I was at 132, he was at 165. Mm. You know, uh, Benavidez, he was a big welterweight. Um, I don't know. Like, I'm always fighting big welterweights. So that's nothing new. I'm always the smaller guy. Even when I was at 140, I was a smaller guy. You know, 35, I might was tall, but I was the smaller guy. So being a smaller guy, you know, never made me think, oh man, this guy is too big or not. It's cool. The bigger they is, the harder they fall. <laughs> so that's what Bud, that's Bud's mindset with this whole size thing. Like, man, look, I've pretty much been a smaller dude, you know, my whole career. Now I may look long, I may look tall, but realistically, a lot of these guys are bigger than me anyway. Benavidez, um, Sean Porter, you know, Errol Spence, Jeff Horn. I mean, all these dudes is bigger than him. So yeah, man. Say what you want about Terrence Bud Crawford for the detractors out there. It's a hell of a fight, a hell of a guy. Same to Spence, right? Great fight, man. Just just great all around. Great great guys, great fighters. You know what I'm saying? Look, I don't know, right? I don't know. All I know is that I got Bud within 10. I don't think there's much Spence going to be able to do once things get going. Um, once Terrence Crawford gets going, we already know what happens. It don't matter who you are, what you doing. It don't matter what style you bring into the fight, bro. His style, Terrence Crawford's style, it could, could adapt to anything. He has a free-forming boxing style. He could adapt to whatever it is you're doing. He's going to make adjustments on the fly. So, yeah, great fight. Errol Spence said he's going to be rolling up cigarellos. Terrence Bud Crawford said the weight isn't going to be a factor. He's used to being a smaller guy, right? Errol Spence, will his mouth be an issue for the fight? Will his his dentures, his 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 mouth issue, right? Will that be a problem in this fight for him? That's another thing, right? We talk the real over here. Other guys don't want to talk about shit like that. That's the real shit right there. Will his mouth shit be straight for this fight? Nobody want to talk about that. Sam Squaver is cracking hard in all them dudes he fought recently, bro. He's cracking hard in all them dudes. Why? Because he's stopping everybody. He's putting dudes down. The little guys putting dudes down. Come on, man. But look, boxing ego, Machido Boxing challenges you to a debate Spence versus Crawford. Like, subscribe, hot your boy. Peace out.